I'm a DJ in bar, going to decentral, making NFT, I'm a DeFiU, being crypto poor but JPEG. Our next speaker is going to come up and continue on this same train of thought about building and about the metaverse and specifically about gaming. Gaming has been a hot topic. We talked about play to earn gamings earlier today. We're continuing to talk about play to earn gamings and the future will be play to earn gamings. So without further ado, please join me in welcoming to the stage the representative of Enway, Gavin Luong. Woo! Thanks, Bianca. We get the awesome three o'clock slot. We got our tacos. We got our ribs. Just lights are dimming, feeling really good. I'll right, we'll see if we can kick the energy up a little bit. I'm having a great show so far, so hope you guys are too. So I think with these conferences, what we really try to do, especially in Web3 conference, such a new space, really get to know each other a little bit. So I'm going to spend the next 15 minutes telling you about Enway, so you can know a little bit more about that. Really two type of audience I'm really talking to. I think one, you could be a gamer, you could be an NFT collector. We got some pretty fun products, some games that you can check out. The other, you may be a developer, a creator yourself. We have actually a really cool tech platform that we may be able to partner up. So let me take you to it. All right, so about anyway, so before I even jump in, um, so you Bill, this is not a rug pull. You're supposed to be hearing from the founder, uh, CEO, TK himself. He didn't feel well, so I'm his understudy. So you get the uh, second version. But I'll do my best. He gave me the deck yesterday. I'll power through it. I think the content's going to be just as good. So anyway, in a nutshell, um, the company's been around for a while. Been around for almost 10 years. We are traditionally been making a lot of um, Web2 games, um, fast action fighting games on mobile, on console. You may know some of our Power Rangers titles, a lot of IP-based stuff like WWE and whatnot. Um, our mission, we want to develop, we publish, and we also have a tech platform for play to earn that is cross-play, across mobile, across PC, across console. Two offices, uh, HQ is in San Francisco. We also in Seoul, some really great talent in both places. And the products I said, we started with Chrono Blade in the past. We've moved to Power Rangers Legacy Wars, Power Rangers Battle for a Grid, WWE Defeated. Those are the Web 2 products. We're Web 3. We have Battle Palooza. We have Olympics Game Jam. And then we also have an NWA Play platform, which I'm going to show you a little bit of gameplay in a little bit. So what are we trying to do? We want to build and create meaningful entertainment through real games. And then we want to do that by digital ownership. So let me dig a little bit more what we mean by real games. I actually don't love the term play to earn. It feels like the play part. It's just a means to the end. We want to put fun first, and that's what we mean by real games. In terms of meaningful entertainment, sometimes, look, all of us who play games, when it ends, there's a sense of emptiness inside. You're like, oh man, I don't, this is so good. I don't want it to end. We do believe that with ownership, you have something to take home with you. You have something to leave behind. You have something that is actually yours. So the meaningful is there. So what type of games do we do? What type of games do we focus on? Whether it's something that we make on our own or we work with a partner like yourself to publish. Um, number one, games that are fun. Number two, games that can be easy onboarded with or without a wallet, especially for the mass market gamers. We want games that are cross-platform. There are communities on mobile. There are communities on console. There are communities on PC. We want to bring everyone together. And that really is the theme of very similar to what we're doing at, uh, at decentralization. And also interoperability, sharing assets, whether it's a single account sign-on, avatar, social system, tokens, NFTs, be a, um, something that is interoperable across the different games. So we are, uh, like I said before, two things. We make our own stuff. We also publish third-party games. Um, we work with type of developers that we love to work with or someone who may have a pedigree of work, working on and created a lot of games in the past. But the whole play to earn space may be new to them, and they want a little bit of partner who's been there before to uh, help them get into, into the Web3. OK, capabilities. This is the focus. A lot of wall of text, I get it. Um, this is the stuff that we went through ourselves that we have built for our own game that when we partner together, you don't have to build it because you can just use our stuff. And you can focus on making really great content, making really good, engaging, fun game. A few things in particular, wallet. Like I said before, we focus, we want to make games that is both for A, a mass market gamer, and well as B, who is more of an NFT native. Uh, 
the wallet is important. I think you, for all of us in the room, we all get it. It's, it's not a big deal. But I think for the majority of people out there, they still don't have a wallet. It's still a big barrier entry. We have created a system and a platform that allows easy onboarding without a wallet by providing a custodial wallet. So by being on NY Play, you can come on, you can play, you can download right away without a wallet. We have a marketplace in place already. So all the tradings for NFTs can take place. Um, payment, big one. Especially, again, for the mass market gamers, they want to buy with, if they can spend just with credit card, they can get on board, they can buy an NFT without having um, um, cryptocurrencies. But it also allows for, if you want uh, an NFT native, bring your external wallet in, we allow for that also. And same thing with the draw. If you want to withdraw into your bank account, that can happen, or back to your external wallet, that's not a problem. Uh, NFTs, we have the platform available. You can do minting, you can do bundling. If you want to do a loot box, we have a tech that's ready for you to do that. Um, you can easily transfer your NFTs between a custodial and external wallet. And I think the other thing that's difficult and magical with what the platform is that any transaction happens on the web, on the marketplace, that would impact whatever happens in the game. So you have sold a certain armor or whatever. That, would, that can be reflected directly in the game very seamlessly. Uh, tokens is all ready to go. Um, the, we, we just launched a Victory Gem token, which is a currency we used for NWA Play a few weeks ago. This completes the full play to earn loop. Um, and lastly, probably very important for the consumers is um, the trust, fraud, compliance, and safety measures. So know your customers, anti-money laundering, all the policies and tools are already in place and ready to go. So what keeps, makes us special with NWA Play? Uh, I think the key thing, there are many things, but I think the big one really is going to be on the account system. Single sign-on, super easy. And why is that so important? I think a few things. Number one, uh, our games are actually on mobile right now. They will be crossing into PC. On mobile, we want it to be on the Apple App Store. We want it on the Google Play Store. And a lot of those stores have policies where it does not even allow for an external wallet. A single sign lets you bypass that, lets you get into the custodial wallet. So that's number one that's important. Number two, we love games, like I said before, that are cross-play, across mobile, across console, across PC. By having a single sign-on, it's a way to unify all the different uh, communities and the player, player experience. There's not just cross-play, but also pro cross-progression. And also, lastly, with the single sign-on, it's the easy way to kind of tie together, be that bridge between the custodial wallet and the external wallet. Um, and I want to say one more time, like for our focus, in case it's not clear, we want to bring in not just NFT natives, have a product for them, but also the same product can be enjoyed by the mass market gamer for the easy onboarding. All right, I'm going to spend the next few minutes just talking, focusing on the three primary games that we have that is on Web3. I think first is Olympics Game Jam. This is the officially licensed Olympic Games. Is currently available for download on the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. We're putting a PC SKU out there um, very shortly. This game tonight, right now, you can go download it, you can play it, people can jump in and start uh, playing and earning. The way we do it is that people collect in real life these um, uh, NFT, uh, these Olympic pins that we have digitized and put it on chain. So by owning and holding these NFTs, it generates tickets for you to enter matches, and then by winning these matches, and these matches can be a lot, a series of different mini games that are more in the elimination rounds, whether it's snowboarding or skiing, and the last person standing will be winning tokens, the Victory Gem tokens. So with that, I will play a little short trailer just to give you a taste of the gameplay.
Uh, sweet, thanks. So we have, um, so that game is an amazing relationship with the IOC, um, a really long roadmap. We're continuing to add more content, more mini games to it to add more fun. A lot more live ops are coming, so um, keep, look for that game. Plus, it uses Victory Gem tokens. That is, um, you can look for it on, on your, on your um, exchanges. Second game I want to talk about is Battle Palooza. Uh, this is a play to earn Battle Royale. So for those who are less familiar with Battle Royale, basically we drop ship a bunch of people, two dozen people, you play out once, you get fragged, you're out, and then until last person standing. Last person standing will win Endcoin. So this is a fun, the product currently also is available on the Apple App Store as well as Google Play. Uh, PC SKU is coming shortly. I got a fun little trailer, let me roll the tape. What's Battle Palooza? Let me show you. Welcome to the greatest game show of all. Battle Palooza! A global arena where each contestant plays their way to get to the top. Easy there, fella. Join the fun today. This game, you win end coins. Uh, we're giving away 10,000 end coins to so everybody who come visit our booth. We're at 15E. Come stop by a little bit later. Okay, with conferences, it's no fun unless we make some announcement. So as of just a few hours ago, we made an announcement of our latest game. It's called Food Truck Coin Club. Uh, this is a fun one. It's basically, we ha you can either play it as a truck owner or a land owner. We have 10,000 unique NFTs for the trucks, 1,000 for land. You basically, each truck is unique. They have different earning potential, earning ceiling, earning rate. And depending on what truck you have, you park it in the land and you can start earning uh, cryptocurrency. You can start earning tokens. Um, there are two types of land. There are safe lands that you can park on. And then what you do, you share the revenue with the landowner. Or you can park in a legal spot, a danger spot. You can keep all the, all the profit, but the landowner can come and swipe all the money from you when you're not looking. There will be things we'll be dropping in surprises, like a police will come, and then you need some special items, like a bribe to make the police go away. Uh, this just announced a few hours ago. The product is going to be coming probably late summer, early fall. I've got a little trailer that just came out a few hours ago. I'll share that with you, this crowd right here. Sweet. That basically wraps it up. I promise to make it quick, keep it swift. We are at upstairs on the third floor, 15E. You want to chat some more? I'd love to dive a little bit deeper. So thank you so much for your time. Let's get to know each other a little bit. <laughs>